Fitness and we're in the kitchen today for a cooking video. The reason for this video is because if you're anything like me, you eat a lot of the same stuff over and over again when you're on one of these bodybuilding or fat loss diets, okay? And there's other people in our lives always, like girlfriends or boyfriends or husbands or wives or family members, your parents, whoever it may be, and they don't necessarily always want to eat just chicken and brown rice like we're used to eating. So this is going to be a quick, easy recipe that you can make to kind of mix things up. It doesn't take that long, about 20-25 minutes tops, it's easy to prepare, and it's still somewhat cheap, and it's easily fit into a budget. So let's take a look at the ingredients and let's get cooking. Alright, so you're probably able to tell from the title of this video that what we're going to be making today is a roasted cod with a tomato, olive, caper, tapenade, as well as a side of whole wheat pasta and some sautéed spinach. So we have all the ingredients here. I have yet to measure them out, but let me run through the amounts that you'll need. You'll also find this in the description box below. But the first thing we're going to need is a pound of cod filet, so which we have right here. We're going to need three teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil. We're going to need a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. One tablespoon of minced green onion. We're going to need one cup of halved cherry tomatoes. So we have our cherry tomatoes over here. We're going to need a quarter cup of chopped cured olives. I have those here as well. All right, we're going to need one tablespoon of capers drained and chopped. We're going to need one and a half teaspoons of chopped oregano. So we have my oregano right here. You can use fresh if you want, but I already had this in my kitchen, so I'll be using this today. And we're finally going to need one teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. And in this case, like I said, we're going to be making a side of whole wheat pasta. I choose to use spaghetti in this case. You can use whatever you want. You can use brown rice instead if you'd like as well, as well as some sautéed spinach. So let's get this all measured out and let's start cooking. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to preheat our oven to 450 degrees. And while that's preheating, we're going to get a baking pan here. I put some tin foil on mine. You don't have to. I then coated this with a nonstick cooking spray. And what I have here in my dish is I have two of the teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil, and I've coated my cod with that. I'm then going to take some of this pepper and just season it on both sides. So right now this has extra virgin olive oil as well as some ground pepper on it. And once that oven is preheated, I'm simply going to transfer this onto the pan and stick it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until the fish gets flaky. Now while that's happening, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to get the water boiling because what I'm going to start cooking is my whole wheat pasta, which is probably going to take about 20 minutes to cook as well. And I'm also going to get some saute pans going so I can mix the tapenade as well as start that spinach. So let's get to that and I'll meet you back in a second. So we have the rest of our ingredients chopped up and measured out. What I have on the stove right now, as you can see over here, is we have the pasta going and we have two skillets, each with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in it. So again, here's the ingredients that we'll be adding. What we're going to do first is we're going to heat the olive oil, like I said. We're going to add the, sh the green onions and cook them and stir them just so we soften them up. It's probably only going to take about 30 seconds or so. We're then going to add in the tomatoes and cook them as well until they're softened. Probably going to take about a minute, minute and a half. And then we're going to add in the olives and the capers and then let it sit for about 30 seconds more. And then finally we're going to add in the oregano and the vinegar. Once we kind of mix that all together, we're going to remove it from heat and we're going to wait for our pasta and our fish to be done and we're going to add this on top. So when we come back, you'll see kind of what the finished product looks like. All right, so here we have the finished product, everybody. It took just under 25 minutes to make this. You can dress it up however you want, but you can make it a somewhat fancy-looking meal really quick and, like I said, pretty cheaply as well. As far as the macros go on this, I'm going to give you them as if you were to use two ounces of pasta. I use a little bit more because I'm trying to get more carbs in me. But what you're looking at here is basically around roughly 450 calories, about 30 grams of protein, and close to 50 carbs while keeping the fat somewhat low, probably at about 10 to 12 grams of actual fat. Now depending on what olives you use and some other stuff like that, you might have a higher increase in sodium, but that's not necessarily something you have to be wary of in this meal. It's not going to overload it on you for this. But there you go, quick meal, baked cod with a little bit of a flair, a nice way to mix it up and a good way to kind of spice up your diet. All right, as always, thanks for watching. Appreciate everybody. Talk to you soon.